Hey everybody! I'm here today to show you how to use the Breville Duotemp Pro Espresso Machine. This will be an easy tutorial and a full tutorial, so let's get right into the video. I've already plugged the machine in and I've turned it on by pushing the power button. Now you can see right here that there is this knob in the middle. When it is in the upright position like this, it's on standby mode, okay? Really easy to use. If you turn it to the right, this turns to the steam wand mode. If you turn it to the left, it turns to the espresso mode, the coffee mode, okay? Really easy to use. You have the select button right here. If you push this, it will alternate between hot water and steam. Hot water or steam. And both of those things will come out from the actual steam wand that you see right there. Now the steam wand is really easy to use. All that you gotta do to turn it on is turn this to the right and the steam wand will turn on with either steam or hot water depending on what you've set it to. I'm actually gonna turn it on with the steam mode right here. I just have this jug right here. I've just filled it up with water for this demonstration. I'm gonna turn it on and you'll notice it does take a few moments to heat up. So you can see it's flashing right there. It does take a few moments to sort of activate and you'll notice that it's gonna sort of sputter up and then the steam or the hot water will come out. Like I said, we're waiting for the steam. So as you can see right now, it's sort of sputtering out anything that's left in there. Obviously I would purge it and clean it before. Here's the steam. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put the tip in there just like that and to turn it off, just like that. Really easy. Now you'll notice one thing. All of the steam is coming off from here. Why is that happening? Well, the machine is actually getting ready to go right into espresso mode. So basically it's taking the excess steam and it's letting it out through here to bring the temperature of the machine back to the ideal temperature for espresso mode. So you don't have to wait, like because it's one unit, as you can see right here, it's one valve controlling both of the espresso and the steam. You're not gonna have to wait a certain amount of time or you're not gonna get espresso that's too hot. It brings it to the right temperature, which is a super cool feature. I'm just gonna sort of uh, rub that quickly to sort of clean it off. Now, the other option is obviously making espresso, which is gonna be the same thing, but you're gonna turn it towards the espresso section on the left to make espresso. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna get your portafilter filter right here and get one of these supplied filter baskets. It comes with four of them. At least the, the box that I got came with four of them. And you wanna pop it in place. Make sure you get this thing securely in place, okay? Just like that, you're gonna hear it click in place. So we have our portafilter, filter we have our filter basket in place. Now we're gonna get our coffee and we're gonna put it in there. Now, I'm just making a mock espresso. I'm probably just gonna end up tossing this out after. I've already had one too many for the day. I'm gonna move the camera down just a little bit. Um, so we're just gonna take however much espresso you wanna put in there. You know, I'm not, like I said, because I'm gonna to toss it, I'm not going full force and making like the perfect amount. But ideally you want to put enough espresso, let's, let's do it the official way, I'm going to put more, okay? Now you can weigh out your espresso grinds um, to be however much you want them to be, but you know, I always like to eyeball it, I've been doing this for years and it works really well, um, at least in my case, for the coffee that I like. Then you want to take your tamp and you want to tamp it down, so push the espresso down, a nice even pressure, even on both sides, give the tamp a nice rotation like that, pull it out, place that to the side. As you can see, it looks absolutely awesome, we're ready to go. So next, you wanna take your portafilter and we're gonna twist it in place. So it goes up like this with the handle on an angle and then you're gonna twist it in place. So get your hand on the machine, twist it in place. Let's just, sorry about that, there we go. I was having a little bit of difficulty there. Twist it in place like that. As you can see, it says unlock or it says insert and lock. So I went from inserting it to locking it in this nice and straight position. Get your espresso cup, Put it in place, try and get it centered over there. Um, obviously make sure that you have the right filter basket for either a single espresso or a double espresso. When you're ready to go, you're gonna twist the knob to the side and then you can obviously measure the uh, flow of the espresso, like the volume, you can go by volume or you can go by timing it. Uh, I just like to eyeball it once again, so we're gonna turn this and as you can see, it's now getting ready to dispense the espresso Obviously you wanna make sure that there's water in the tank as well, okay? If there's a tank on the back, you wanna make sure that there's water in the tank. So as you can see right here, I didn't do a great job with tamping because the water came out unevenly, but you know, I'm not a pro. So anyways, um, it's filling the cup up with espresso. It looks absolutely delicious to be honest with you. I might actually have it even though I'm already hyped up. I have all this energy. Whenever you're ready to stop your uh, espresso from coming out, 
you turn it to the center, it's gonna keep dripping for a few moments. So take that into account because you don't want it to be overflowing, okay? Um, and then it's back on standby mode. That's it, obviously you can take out the porta filter after. Um, the metal parts will be hot, so I always just leave it in there for a while. I just take it out much later when everything's cooled down. And you can clean it, and that's basically it. That is how to use this Breville Duo Temp Pro Espresso Machine. This has been a full tutorial and a simple tutorial as well. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.